It's the hardest thing to do in sports. Hitting a round ball with a round back squarely. So hard that failing seven out of 10 times is still good enough to land you a million dollar contract. Good eyesight, good concentration, years of practice, excellent reaction. A batter needs it all. Armed with only a wooden stick, he has less than a quarter of a second to see the pitch, judge its speed and location, decide what to do, and then swing. While skill and consistency are paramount, the fate of the ball has a lot to do with physics as well. A 90 mile per hour fastball is in flight. Impact is set to occur in 400 milliseconds. The first 100 milliseconds are needed for the batter's eye to see the ball and send an image to the brain. Another 75 milliseconds is needed for the brain to gauge speed and location of the pitch. And 50 milliseconds more to decide where to swing the bat. With 165 milliseconds still remaining to impact, the brain signals the swing to begin. If it's as little as seven milliseconds too early or too late, the ball will sail foul after contact. A two pound bat traveling at 80 miles per hour can strike the ball with a force of up to nine horsepower. For each extra mile per hour generated in bat speed, there is potential for an extra seven and a half feet in flight distance. So the faster he swings, the farther the ball will go. Bat ball collision takes just one one thousandth of a second to occur. If all goes right, Contact takes place within an eighth of an inch of the bat's sweet spot, a small node roughly six and a half inches from the end of the bat. This minimizes vibration and maximizes energy transfer to the ball. If the ball misses the sweet spot, a weaker hit is guaranteed, along with a painful sting to the batter's hands and forearms. At optimal impact, a force of over 8,000 pounds will compress the ball to almost half its diameter. It then rebounds off the bat and begins accelerating to the 110 miles an hour it needs to travel over 400 feet. Understanding the physics and physiology of hitting shows just how complex the task really is. Baseball physicist Robert Adair dubs it clearly impossible, a superhuman feat, though others would simply call it Ruthie.